welcome to a business minute with Lili Lopez presented by the South Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. We're here at the University of Miami, the beautiful library, and uh, it's just an amazing time. I know there's a lot of people and it's loud, but it's fun. It's keeping American women. It's a bunch women. of Cubans. It's a right. bunch of Cubans. And I'm here, it's loud. There's a bunch of Cubans. And here with a very good friend of so, so many years, Miami-Dade County Commissioner Raquelita Regalado. We love you. you oh, everybody loves you, Raquelita. Hey. It's, it's something very uh, important for us. The only Hispanic woman Commissioner Miami Dade County. Yes. That's important. Yes. Very important. Shocking to some people. Shocking. Only we should have female. more. Yes. Only yes. female. Only yes. female, only, only Hispanic yes. woman. Yes. We need we need yes. more, right? Yes. But I'm glad we have you. So we're so happy and honored because Adnida Badilla, who's a great friend of ours, and Dr. Anita Badilla wrote this book, Cuban American Women, Making History. And we have Liana Rose Lettinen, a former Congresswoman. We have um so many, and you, yes. Raquelita Regalado, it's and it's just so many women who are clavijo. Anita so did a great job because it's not just like elected officials, it's journalists, it's people like yes, you yes. that move other people. We have people here that are small business owners that just took it like next yes, level yes. and really shown a light on the leadership behind Cuban American women. So exactly. it's a great book. Everybody has like, look at who's there. Look at who's there. Yes, we're back to back on each other. But it's great. It goes through like everyone's history. It's actually divided, you know, depending on you know the different areas. So I think you exactly. and I made like community and leadership, right? right? That makes sense. Uh, but it's a wonderful opportunity to really celebrate amazing Cuban American women. You know, women that have done so much for Miami Dade County and Florida, and really have blazed the trail. Because right. this new generation of women, you know, we couldn't have done it, you know, without some of the women that I are saw here. Josefina Carbonell, yes, my gosh, yes. yes. I mean, women it's just that great were people. really a la vanguardia. Yes, Jackie and Esperal, there's yes. so many important women yes. here. And, so it's And then have done beautiful. multiple things, right? Yes. I mean, women that, you know, did one thing and then did another thing and then did another thing and are still really doing amazing things for yes. our community. So it's yes. a great book. You can buy it at Books and Books, <laughs> uh, right? Yes, so absolutely. We'll, we'll pitch the book, And you'll right? see all the the Cuban American women making yes. history and we're so happy. Yes, and if you're we're a so young happy. woman, you should go get it. You should read about all these amazing women and you should share it with other women. And, and the cover is beautiful. It is a true yes. story of a lady and then uh, it's a Cuban American that went uh, up the mountain. I don't remember which mountain, but just the fact that she's there, right. I'm scared. I'm scared. So if she did that, she just has to be in the cover with the Cuban flag. And I love I love that. I love the fact that we brave women to here today. So anything else that we want to say? It's a great day to celebrate Cuban American women. It I really love it. is. And we need more Hispanic women in corporate boards, and that's going to be discussed today. Yes. Even in Miami-Dade County, 70% of the population is Hispanic, and we still lag, lag behind. Right. And I see it in yes. many of the top uh, nonprofits here. Yes. We don't want to say names, but there is a document that I will be reading and discussing later, which Aida Levitan provided to me. And it's scary, it's scary yeah. that we're 70% Hispanic and we're not there. And, and we're not being asked to serve in these corporate boards that are important in Miami-Dade County. And that's wrong on the part, part of, of it, the corporations. And part of, it, and part of it is, remember, you started before you had kids and then you had kids and you kept going. Right. I started when I had babies yeah. and people were like, oh my God, oh, you're gonna yeah. run for office yeah. with babies? <laughs> You should wait till your babies grow up. And I was like, what do my babies have to do with, <laughs> with it? Exactly. You know? right, exactly. But, but I think that's one of the reasons that a lot of Hispanic women and Cuban American women, they wait, you know, and they the wait. women that are here, the women that are here, they did not wait. They got started they wherever, wherever no, they were at. No, because we're Cuban exactly. American women, la, la lucha. And it doesn't make you less of a mother or less of it a does wife not. It does or not. less of an employee, quite yeah. the opposite. I was raised by an amazing woman, you know, exactly. and her leadership was an example. So I think these women are going to be talking about that. Yes. And we hope that it motivates everybody to get off their couch, stop watching Netflix, yes. and go rule the world. Forget the phone and go rule the world. The Absolutely. future is female. Yes, it is. And thank you so much, all of you, for tuning in to another episode of A Business Minute with Lily Lopez today featuring our great friend, Miami-Dade County Commissioner, Raquelita Regalado.